Hey, good morning, guys. Just want to show y'all what this little uh, flower garden has turned out to be. Anytime I see some strawberries, I always think about Pete. Y'all know Pete, uh, Mr. Helio Forge. Pretty cool guy. This is my blackberry. This one is red. It's not ready yet. This one is black. It's ready to eat. Mmm. I like blackberries. This is a gardenia. It smells really good. Can you smell that? <laughs> Alright, enough of that playing around. You the man, Pete. Got the little fountain going on in there. As some of you know, we uh, we got right many cats around here. I think a lot of them. And from time to time, you lose one. And so what we try to do is, since they're like family, we try to give them a good going away. And so this is the little pet cemetery right here. My wife does a good job of keeping this up. I'm going to show you my irrigation system, how I get water from uh, from way down here in the creek all the way up to the gardens. So what I got, I use uh, just inch and a quarter black pipe right here. And what I got in the water is a half horse submersible well pump, a deep well pump. Basically it's sitting down inside of a bucket to keep it from sitting right in the uh, mud and gunk down in the bottom. First thing you do is look for snakes, make sure you ain't going to put your foot down in no cotton mouth. So nothing fancy, just a uh, regular deep well pump made to, for uh, lifting water, you know, three, four hundred foot in deep wells. If it can go vertical three hundred foot, then uh, horizontal or laterally should not be a problem whatsoever, and it's done very well for us. Now that's what you call a comfortable kitty cat. Fancy made then crawled up under the grill, rolled over on the back, gone sound asleep. Fancy May, what are you doing, girl? Huh? Alright, going back to sleep. And there's my old girl right there. And it's time to take her out. And for anybody who would ask the question, why would you cut her down? Uh, we're still dealing with white flies. Everywhere they lay eggs, uh, they're going to hatch out and repeat the process. And sometimes you got to make a decision to do something now for the betterment of things later on. So. If I take this old girl out right now, then get rid of the white flies, and I'll create an environment where her her offspring, her little seeds that I've saved up, I can plant them, and they'll have a better opportunity to grow, unlike the kind of decision making them idiots in Washington are doing right now. That's probably some of the juiciest tomatoes you'll ever find. I think I'll have one more. That was pretty good. Mmm. Mmm. Make a mess. I hate to do it, but considering just how difficult it is to deal with white flies, this is something that really needs to be done. And, um, thank you, girl. It was a good one. Got pretty warmed up. You can see how clean it is on up through there now. I can see what I'm doing. So, what I'm going to do is go down through that bottom right there. All those uh, big blackberries, poke weed, uh, smaller trees coming up. I'm going to take this weed eater and I'm going to cut all that stuff down so I can see where the pipe is. <laughs> wasn't too bad was it? All right I showed you how I use it now I'm going to show you the trick to it it's all in the string what I use I stepped it up this probably came with a uh, 075 or 80 I step it up to a 095 string and what I'll do is take this put my line in there moisten up a little bit don't hurt and then to make sure I got it in, take the needle nose pliers and actually push 
push that line in that hole. It's not. It's made for 080. This is 95. So you got to force it in there. For comparison, you can see you got three stalks right here that I've already cut the suckers off of. Everything down there looks real good. And then you look over here on this row, and all you see is just a bunch of mess down there. So if I come in here and I cut the suckers away, even that thing right there, that's that's a sucker. I don't know what kind of effect this will have on the corn, the stalk itself, as far as removing that much vegetation, but uh, I don't think it's going to be a problem. If it is, I'll find out, and I'll know not to do it next time. This is the one I'm looking at. Big old brandy wine. Look how high up it is on the uh, stem. Very unusual. You think you can make a sandwich out of that? Now that's what you call dry. Ain't no big deal though. As soon as I get these beans and peas in the ground, we're gonna set the sprinkler up in the middle there and throw some water to it. That's what I gotta do with these 16 rows right here. Go down with the tiller. And then rake all the pieces of uh, corn stalk, the roots and everything out. So I got me a nice little clean path to run my planter on. Uh, this might take a while. Y'all go ahead and get you a good book somewhere. Maybe like The Winds of War or something like that. Because it's going to be a while. And uh, I'll check back with you later on. I hope y'all enjoying that book. I'm about halfway through with it right now. I'll see you in a little bit. Y'all might want to pick up the pace a little bit on reading that book. I'm down to my last two rows. Alright, I have finished cleaning up all the rows. You can clearly see now exactly where I'm going to be planting. See all the debris from the corn stalks down in the middle of the rows. Now we're going to put a little bit of fertilizer down and plant some uh, strike beans, some top pick purple holes, throw some water to it and call it a day. Well folks, this is going to conclude a very long day. Seems like last week I started planting those cucumbers. Been a really, really long day here. But I got everything planted that I wanted to. Got my sprinkler running back there. Donald says water it down as soon as you get in the ground. We're working on that. I'm going to let this uh, sprinkler run for a couple hours. Get the top of it moist. Do the same thing again tomorrow and the day after and the day after until I get all these seeds up. And then we'll cut back on the water. But if you've uh, made it through the end of the video, still watching this part you got to be a loyal uh, follower and uh, I appreciate it appreciate all the support suggestions comments kind words it's a hard job trying to do this kind of deal and then trying to put it together and make videos but uh, as long as somebody just one person can get some enjoyment out of it that's good enough for me y'all take care and we'll see you next time